welcome. I'm Christina, and I welcome you from the Sacred Ground Collective community. I welcome you also from the Mothership Alliance community, but very much so from Heart and Soul of Egypt. And today is episode two um, on me taking you on this journey through Egypt. <laughs> so this picture, background picture, was taken by myself um, and that was on October the 17th, 2018. <laughs> Whoa, so I um, was just reading through my um, travel report, uh, if you recall, if you watched it, the, pre the two previous um, episodes. And I'm, I'm just feeling that I want to share from my memories and just keep this as a as, um, side note. Um, I want to share the, the experience. Um, and also let the, the honor to be able to be on the Giza Plateau at that early in the morning where it's a private visitation, so that's what I want to say. So you need you need permission, special permissions to have that. And um, <clears throat> Akram, our tour manager, you know, took care of all that. So um, after driving from the Mina House to to the Giza Plateau, which actually is in walking distance, but um, you at that time you're not allowed to walk there. So we, we, took, we were take, taken by the minibus, by a minibus up to the entrance to the Sphinx. <clears throat> and it was all sealed and um, guards guarded, obviously, um, <clears throat> by security, uh, by tourist police. And the gates were open and it was dark. It was still dark, um, quarter to five in the morning. So you can imagine um, <clears throat> uh, us then from the parking space, walking down a little bit, a few stairs and getting to the gates and then um, V having the honor um, to open the gate and then just silently walking down um, until we got uh, just in front of the Sphinx between the po the the poles of the Sphinx. And obviously we were all, um, eight of us, we were connected, we were uh, excited and we were in deep um, gratitude and reverence and each member had their own um, offerings, their own feelings, and it all just mingled together beautifully. <laughs> so once we got settled in between <laughs> her, I call the Sphinx her as well. I don't know why. I, I just feel, I just feel um, this femininity with her, but not, not only obviously, but yeah, <laughs> also the pyramids. Um, <clears throat> so once we were settled in and um, gathered up in the circle for our meditation, which that was the intention and the preparation we had in the evening before in our circle, um, we started to talk and um, to guide us into a meditative state and um, with her beautiful voice and the way she um, leads um, guides not leads gu guides you through meditation is absolutely marvelous and um, <clears throat> I remembered while sitting there listening to her I remembered her words in um, in on the way 
in the preparation, uh, saying to me, um, encouraging me to speak whenever I feel that there is something that wants to come through. Because, you know, me as a medium, as sensitive. And, and I remember that sitting there. So um, with, while I was listening to um, these boys um, and um, sighting of different uh, Egyptian gods, <laughs> which I have to tell you at that point, I had very, very little knowledge. I mean, I still don't have a lot of knowledge, but at that time, three years ago, I had very little knowledge about um, the mythology and the entire Egyptian um, lineage goddesses and you know you know what I mean. <laughs> so um, I was listening to her saying all these um, names like Ra, Nut, Tod, Koshnu, Osiris, Isis, Nephthys, Horus, Set, Anubi, Hapi, Amat, Amun, and uh, and it went on and while it was going on, I could feel the presence of my spirit guidance of my team. And um, <clears throat> it's kind of like they entered my energy field and it's like a knocking and I, I perceive one of my team members, um, which sometimes I refer to the door keepers and say, hey, they want to talk to you. They want to talk through you. Um, and I just answered, okay. And um, I, you know, I felt safe in that circle. I felt um, held in the circle and the energy. And we, the gener energy that was building up was really, um, yeah, beyond words. So um, I, I was there and I was feeling into the field, into the group and expanding my awareness around us, expanding it, including the Sphinx and, 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 and further and um, above and below. And I was aware that there was, a, that, that there was conglomerates of presences from subtle worlds, from different dimensions pre present there with us at that time, in that moment. Um, um, exactly, <laughs> turquoise. And then the, the, I felt and was aware of um, this turquoise, um, bandwidth of of light coming in and if you don't know me blue and turquoise has been my color forever <laughs> since I'm born so this presence this light uh, came in in and, and I was just made aware of that so at this point my doorkeeper comes back saying um telling me V is going um is about to finish her meditation soon do you want to speak up and i just you know agreed the way i do i you always agree i agree and then i was made aware of like now <laughs> I take a breath and ask permission with my voice. I ask, you know, I whisper, I ask permission to speak, which I am given. And um, I ask that I ask the group to give me a moment to get myself really out of the way. And, and once I was ready, 
this is the message that came through. Just, if you wish, close your eyes and just listen. And remember, this message came through from the field, from the group. I was merely the conduit. Welcome. Let us thank you for your presence in this space and place. Understand that many different entities are gathered with you today and here. Each one of you has its very specific frequency that allows us to enter, meaning the vibration of Earth. Feel our deep gratitude. We speak into your hearts and make you aware that you are light, houses for us. We recognize you by the light that you are that you emit into many galaxies and not just yours. We ask you to take this firmly into your consciousness. We remind you that your light touches all who are in contact with you in your environment and not just earthly beings, but also subtle multidimensional beings that you allow into your energy field. We thank you that we can be here with you today. So with this, Um, I say thank you for being with you here. Thank you for being with me in this space, in these sparks of Egypt. Um, and I look forward to the next episode if you stay with me <laughs> which will be um sakara mainly and the step pyramids but mainly sakara and my experience and the group's experience in with the <clears throat> the boxes I call them the boxes okay <laughs> thank you so much yes um I'm, this picture this is actually Akram um Farouk who will be our tour guide our field manager in February <laughs> thank you to everyone and thank you also to Egypt and to all the people that um, I am connected through, through Egypt. <laughs> Namaste.